So now we're going to get into increased protocols and decreased predictivity. So maintaining our operations with important considerations and policies, you know, we've got new sanitation, um, space management policies, health and wellness of our employees, all, all is creating this unpredictability. We're all, we've seen this over the last year. So much has changed. We keep trying to predict it, but it's changing so rapidly. Think about um, how your company is going to deal with social distancing, employee and visitor check-ins. What are cleaning schedules or sanitation efforts are going to be? How often does it have to happen? Who's going to do it? Is it clean? All of those things are going to be very important coming when you're coming back to work. So you want to show some of this tracking data. So looking at this, there's this opportunity to visually show what's been cleaned. Now, whether the employees have to clean it or you have janitorial service or facilities cleaning it, take into account how are you going to let the next employee coming in know that that space is clean. I'm a visual person, not gonna lie. And so I like a tool like this to where I can look to visually see that it's clean. In our office, we're gonna make the employee, if it's if it's a four hour shift that you're reserving a space, the employee needs to clean it. If you're done with the conference room, you should clean it. There will be wipes and cleaning supplies there. But we also want to know that, yes, you, you cleaned it. So we're gonna rely a little bit on that honor system, but give them that ability to also check the box saying, yes, it's in clean. With that, you're gonna start to see some uh, trends Maybe, maybe you can reduce your maintenance contract or cleaning contract. So take that as an opportunity to really look at, okay, what am I seeing as people come back to work? Maybe I need to increase cleaning certain areas and reduce in other areas. But it's also that possibility to predict some maintenance going forward once you're back in and can see some of those trends. I know Jen's got a great story here, story here that she's going to share. Yeah, so I wanted to share a customer success story. Southwest Airlines is one of our favorite customers. Um, and they were in such a unique position going into the pandemic and were really able to rely on their workplace data to inform some really key strategic decisions. So Southwest Airlines has over 90 plus domestic field locations, which are, of course, airports. I never realized that before working with Southwest, but airlines lease the space from the airport and they're totally responsible for that management. If it's the waiting areas in the concourse, the ticket counters, the baggage handling, employee spaces that we don't even see. So they have literally millions of square feet across the country and a lot of variation from location to location. So when COVID started, one of their most important objectives was sanitization. How are we going to make sure our spaces are safe? And they chose an electrostatic um, disinfecting spray that is very effective, but it's also very expensive. So in the two years leading up to COVID, Southwest had embarked on a major project to digitize all of their space. So every airport location, they have digital floor plans. And because they had such detailed data about those locations, they were able to forecast down to the square foot exactly how much solvent was required at every location. And then they were further able to benchmark the consumption of that cleaning solution because they knew how much should be used per square foot. And if certain locations were going through it too quickly or not quickly enough, they were able to intervene and do some additional training and show them exactly how much they needed to use to be efficient, to be effective, and to make sure that it was uh, an even distribution um, across all their locations. Another really interesting aspect of the Southwest implementation, they actually use their workplace data to inform their flight schedules. So a really important metric for Southwest is how quickly customers move through the airport. They don't want their customers waiting in line. So when the flight planning team is wanting to add a schedule or a, a flight maybe into Nashville on Tuesdays, they're going to look at the floor plans to see if we put an additional 120 passengers in here at this time, how does that affect the mobility? And they can adjust schedules sometimes just 10 or 15 minutes to ensure there's enough space for people to move through. 
And I wanted to tell this story because what's fascinating to me about Southwest is they're using our solutions in the traditional ways for space planning and move management, but where they really had the value during COVID was that they were able to harvest all of that data and use it to inform strategic decisions in a lot of really different parts of their business. So again, emphasizing the importance of that sound digital infrastructure as really the foundation of your hybrid workplace.